Hey guys, um, it's still number one, and today I'm going to show you how to make a change purse wallet. Whatever. No zipper, and no velcro. And so this is the inside, I don't have any change in there. And then you just fasten it with a piece of duct tape. So what you need is three colors of duct tape. Today, I'll be using this color, this color, and this color, and you can rip or use scissors, but I like to use scissors to get the lines more exact. So I'll be showing you one with the leopard down here, wait, no, I'll be showing you one exactly like this, except I'm going to be using this color, the zebra, or right here in this color for the trim. Okay. So, you need, what's going on with this? Sorry. You need four pieces, however long you want your duct tape thingamabobber to be. Two pieces in one color, two pieces in another. So I'm just going to do that. There's two. Four. Then I'm going to take your other color and do two pieces about the same length as that. This one's going to be probably tinier than that one. Okay, so now I have six pieces of duct tape in all. And so what I'm going to do to get this kind, and then the back is all leopard. I'm going to... Take one piece, lay the other piece on it, like so. I just gotta fix that because I was doing it in midair. So you have two of this color, and then you do one of other color and just do that then you take this color and lay it on the bottom one right there sticky sides together so now it looks something like this then you just put your other colors on top And out like this, and then last piece. Sorry, it's taking me long. Then we're gonna, you will need scissors, sorry, to trim. I'm gonna take it and trim it. It's okay that it's long. You get to listen to my beautiful voice longer. Okay, so now you have something that looks like this. 
what you're gonna do is put it like this. Take the bottom piece, fold it up here. And take this one. You can fold this one up a little bit higher than that. And you take this one, fold it down a little bit. Then you can leave it like this, or take your scissors and cut it like a little bag. Like, I have one side done right now, like that. I told you this one was going to be down. Oh, no, 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 no. It looks kind of funny, this one. Okay, pretty funny guy. Then, take your other color. Last color. Just measure the length of your purse or whatever you want to call it. Smell it. <laughs> uh, cut that in half. Wasn't very good to cut that in half, but oh well. It will have to do. Okay, so then you just take it, put it on a bit halfway. Fold it over. Do the same with the other one. Then cut off the trimming. I need to fix this one. Didn't look good at all. And you cut off the bottom. Not like cut off the bottom, but you know what I mean. Trim the pieces that are sticking off the bottom. You can put a piece along here if you want to. Then, get a little piece about. Yay, big. Oh, I just sent it flying. Get a piece about yay, big. Kind of to keep it this long, or rip or cut it in half, which I did. And use this piece. What you do? Secure. Secure it. Sorry. You do not want to make them this little because you cannot fit change into it. I will have to put it up for decoration, I guess. So yeah, you can make one like this, or like this, or I really don't care. You can make one bigger, like double this size if you wanted to. Good idea. Okay, see ya.